Hey guys, Broderade Reject here with a video that's a little bit of a show and tell and a little bit of a how to guide. So, to start off, I want to show off something I've been holding on to for about 10 years now. This. This is the Polka Walker by Nintendo. It's the, probably one of the best devices I've ever had with a Pokemon game. However, it's currently dead. So we're going to fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it around and we're going to locate this little screw right over there. And using a very small Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to very carefully take off the back of it. We want to really be careful so as to not strip the screw over here. Once you hear it click, set your screwdriver aside. Gently force the back clip off. And we'll have this, the little battery housing. So what we'll need next is a 2032 battery that you can get for about $5 for a pack of two at your local Walmart. Just be careful when you're pulling it out because it has this child-proof feature on it. So you'll need to be really careful when popping it out or else you might cause harm to the battery. Next, we're going to take a flat-headed screwdriver and we're going to gently, ooh, I guess not so gently, pop the old one out and take the new one and put it in. Then, before we put everything back on, we're going to flip it over. Hey, and look at that! My Magikarp is there. Now, as you will see, the uh, steps counter does reset upon a battery swap. But, this Magikarp has been in this Poka Walker for 10 years. Talk about a patient Magikarp. So, I guess now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this clip back on. And now we can put our Magikarp, or whichever Pokemon you may want, on our belt and go on without our, on our journey. Now, I'm not content with just having this Magikarp roaming about. I want to send him back into the games. However, we have a slight problem. This Magikarp did not come from this game. This Magikarp came from my copy of Pokemon Heart Gold, which I lost over 10 years ago. So what we're going to have to do is erase all the data on this Pokewalker, except for the Magikarp, which is possible. Unfortunately, this will lose any history I have with this Pokewalker. But, I think this Magikarp has waited long enough to be used. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down, down, X, and the left button at the same time. And we're going to hit A, A again, there we go. Caution. All data saved on the Pokewalker will be erased. Before erasing it, please be sure to confirm the information. The Pokemon on your Pokewalker will return, but all other data on the Pokewalker will be erased. And I've struggled with this decision, but I think I'm okay with it. going to erase it. We're going to select on the menu connect.
Here we go. I think that's it. Welcome. From here, you can select a Pokemon from your PC box and take a stroll. Hmm. I'm not seeing him at the moment. Let's put this Shinx in and see what happens. We're sending the Shinx in. Oh, I missed that sound. Okay, so the Shinx is now in the Poke Walker. What we're going to do now we're going to uh, see if we can find that magic harp, hopefully. Unfortunately, not seeing this poor little magic art. I do believe I have inadvertently released a magic art that knows bounds. However, being in captivity for 10 years. I suppose I'm okay with that. Well, you've seen it all here in action. If I did something wrong, please let me know. If you think that this Magikarp actually does exist somewhere out in the ether of Nintendo, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you next time.